Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. I want to show you a follow-up video and probably what will end up being the final checkout video of this telephone. This is David's telephone from California and basically it's a one of these cool wooden wall telephones and you used to be able to get these uh, from the phone company uh, you could purchase them through your phone company or uh, uh, you know just get them through the phone company somehow but anyway basically um, I'm not sure where David got this telephone but uh, it's uh, one of the very sought-after telephones. Uh, this this model that you could get through the phone company or or wherever uh, through an AT&T store um, that are closed now. Uh, a lot of people like these telephones, and they are the wooden wall telephone or the country wall telephone. And uh, basically, in the earlier initial checkout video, what I showed was this telephone would ring but when you uh, took the receiver off the hook it never seized the telephone line and uh, it would the telephone would ring but it would never answer you could never answer it and so basically on this kind of a telephone you have to it's got a metal base here where the board uh, the main PC board sits and we have to take it all apart to get to the board to troubleshoot it and um, I showed the board on in the earlier initial checkout now what I found is on the incoming bridge rectifier I found the diode that was bad and I replaced the diode and I continued to check the components and uh, we still weren't getting anything so it's not uncommon that you have a couple of different problems sometimes or one problem will cause another problem and basically what we've come down to is um, I've seen now that there's a component on the board and uh, basically it looks like a factory repair or a re old repair gone bad and I'm going to try to point it out to you um, right in this area, somebody, and I assume it's a factory repair, someone has jumped over the traces, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get a shot of that without any glare. It's right here. Well, they repaired this part of it, so this is kind of a repair gone bad. Uh, they repaired this part of it and uh, soldered a, a trace across it. But what they didn't think about was there's another trace here. And it continues on. S and, but it also goes this way too. So when they repaired this telephone, it was probably the trace on this end was just hanging on by a thread. And uh, through expansion and contraction, it finally gave out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to repair that. And uh, this is never going to happen again because basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to replace the trace. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to unplug the uh, telephone from the analyzer. try to get the glare off of here so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to go ahead and replace, I'm going to make sure there's plenty of solder here and go over what they they did in the past. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and install another trace so this doesn't ever happen again and I'm using a wire trace because it's more giving actually what I want to do is kind of totally fix up their trace altogether because I've noticed that this trace is sitting on another trace 
and I don't want any cross connect. And I want to make sure that that's not touching anything. So now what we can do is go ahead and install our trace. And then I'm going to run it down and install it where it belongs. checking everything now I want to make sure I want to make sure nothing's touching and I want to give the uh, new wire trace a, a good path to go by And that should do the trick. So now we have our uh, we have our new trace on here, and it follows on up, and it goes to where it's supposed to lead to, goes to our component, and then it goes uh, where the old trace was repaired. So now everything looks good. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug the telephone in give you some dial tone and I'm going to try to reach around here and I'm going to try to dial some numbers about like six come back to the two I'm going to end in the two now I'm going to transmit into the handset one two three four five six one two three four five six incoming message test every time I transmit that's a hundred percent modulation when you see that red light on the analyzer one two three four five six now basically what happens here is I have, since I have the board out, I no longer have the hook switch connected. And so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you that I've got it jumped. So if I take that off, what's going to happen is it's going to let go of the line. And now I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect it again and you'll see it sees the analyzer. Just sees the analyzer. I'm going to let go of it. I'm going to connect it. Let go of it. Connect it. And since the uh, hook switch is, um, is 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 shorted in a sense, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and take it apart, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting the telephone back together again because we know the telephone is repaired and so we want to bring our our base that everything rides on in a sense I could just go ahead and unplug the the keypad here until we get everything put back together again that I want to work on. It's just kind of getting everything straightened out. I want to tuck this uh, modular plug for the hand handset. I want to tuck that back underneath the bell again and get everything
everything put back the way it goes we get our screws back in here real quick and we can start connecting everything back up there's a little there's actually you know troubleshooting is a process but uh, sometimes I find it harder just to put the telephone back together again than it is to troubleshoot. Now you run into some troubleshooting problems sometimes that you, you know, you have a difficulty with, or it takes a long time. But on some of these, it it actually, you know, it's takes much more to just put the telephone back together again like it belongs. We want to get all of our uh, all of our connections back the way they belong. And uh, I kind of have a photographic memory. I don't. Uh, I really don't need to uh, write this stuff down. <laughs> so let's get these all back together.
plug in his handset cord, which will be right here. And we can go ahead and hang up the telephone. So it looks like we're back to normal. Let's do some final checks. Let that go a couple times. There's your dial tone. And we'll go ahead and dial some numbers here. Star, pound, go back to two. Do that one more time. I'm going to end in a two. And it did. Talk into the handset. I'm going to transmit a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we know this telephone is repaired. Another thing I want to check here real quick is this happens a lot. Uh, I'm going to tighten up his transmit um, encasement here because they get loose. And what happened to these handsets? These are very hard handsets to find. People would drop them, they would hit the floor, and they would break. And uh, they break out right in this area all over the place. And uh, I can't tell you how many we repair, and, um, but I do repair them. And we get them in all the time. And this is a, a handset that you're not just going to find anywhere. It's a, a very difficult handset to find, and uh, you're just not going to find it. And if you do, you get, you'll get very lucky. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to move the analyzer, the telephone line, or the, the line cord over to a regular telephone line, and we're going we're gonna to make a call. I'm going to call time and temp. Good afternoon. Our body shop can repair almost any make and model for less. Offenburg Belleville, 2340330. Today is Friday, July 15th. The time is 321. Current temperature 101 degrees. Now the weather forecast for the Belleville area. Mostly clear tonight, lows around 70. Saturday, mostly sunny, hot and humid. Highs in the low 90s. Heat index 105. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to call my number. And it should be busy. And we will we'll call, uh, say, time and temp one more time. Good afternoon. Shop our entire location online anytime at offenberg.com. Today is Friday, July 15th. The time is 3.22. Okay, so we know this telephone is repaired now, and David should be very happy to get this back. And um, this is a cool telephone. Uh, it's an excellent example of telephones that people are always looking for. Um, and I'm not sure where he got this one at, but this was a telephone that uh, you could get through the phone company and maybe that's where he got it maybe he got it afterwards I don't know but um, it just took a little bit of troubleshooting and now the telephone is repaired and uh, David can you know get back to using it like nothing ever happened this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair A1 Electronics you can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.